See, my, my, my thing is, as it relates to the vaccine, right? You're not, if, if you're not going to mandate it, then you should at least say, right? I'll be willing to say that we're not going to um, use the vaccination to separate people and class people and segregate people in a way that prevents access to one group accessing certain fundamental services, essential you, services. You want them to say that? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. Because that's the question. The question is, where do we draw the line? For instance, right? <coughs> when do we when do we start? When do we start? Okay, I, I asked a question. I think it might have been to, to you all and, and several other people. Like, do you believe that? What if they start saying, okay, well, people can't come in here if you didn't take your second dose eight to 12 weeks. So if I take it in four weeks, now I can't go to the port. I can't go to the shop because I will take my second dose too early. Like, how do we start, like, <laughs> how do we start, like, like, because that's what I'm seeing, you know, what I'm seeing is that it's going to come to a point where we start segregating based on the vaccine and the vaccination status. Well, you keep saying we're going to start. You don't feel like you already started? Well. Like, I feel like it already started. So <laughs> but the question, as you say, is where do we... Where do we draw the line? And yeah. I believe that you should not start denying people access to basic essentials based on a choice that they have, especially when it's a personal choice to do with their personal health care. I mm. thought that's what taking the vaccine was a choice to protect yourself. Uh, and, and, and you know what's funny? You can't keep telling us that the vaccine is going to fix all of our problems, but then also tell us that we still have to wear the non-pharmaceutical measures. We still have to do all these things. Because it's starting to feel like maybe, just maybe, they're both needed. And if you can't do one, you should do the other. Isn't that what it's supposed to be? Am I wrong? No, 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 no. Like, <coughs> and that's, that's, been my, that's been my position. Like, my position has been the first thing, I did not like the mm. messaging of the vaccine being the messiah. Right? Yeah. The vaccine the is the messiah will save us from all our ills. Yeah. It was told to be this 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 simple the simple one fix, you know, like that this this is the only thing that can fix it. Like if we approach it with the fact that it is a tool um that we can use to uh, aid in the, in in bringing this thing to an end, then it would have been a different situation, but it was sort of presented as this you know, but golden, not only that golden shot. But not only that, because that is the viewpoint and the perspective, that is where you're now getting all these mandates. You can't come work yeah. if you ain't if you ain't got the vaccine. You can't go here if you ain't got the vaccine. No, you can't go to you can't go watch cricket if you ain't got the vaccine. No, you can, all kind of things you can't. But that's because the perspective is if you ain't the vaccine, then we ain't gonna we ain't gonna hope basically, <laughs> hopeless. Uh, and then you know what that what problem that causes people are going to be like but if this is the case then why does it not stop me from catching corona why is it only going to prevent certain things from happening because if you're telling me it's the end all be all then i am supposed to not catch it that is what people are thinking in their head and then when you have to explain that no that is not how it works it's a difficult battle because they're still thinking well if you're telling me this is what i need to do this is the end why is it doing the thing that is supposed to have an end result? For instance, right? Like, words, words, I'll just say this, words mean things. They do. But the thing is, like, <laughs> when do. you start using words like immunity, you have to understand what that means in people's minds, you know. Immu yeah. Like, in people's people minds. Think immunity means you can't 100% catch it. protected. Like, I can't catch it. Can't get it. I'm yeah. immune, so I can't catch it. So, like, these are the disconnects between the messaging the people and the reality of the situation right yeah because the words mean different the words mean different things to different people and we have to accept the fact that not everybody has you know like a medical background and we also have to you know even if we have to bring it back to school and systems there's some people that 
understand science in an instant and there's some people that understand economics in an instant and then there are people who just don't understand it because they're on whichever side of the, the what you call it the work world but we also have to understand that, that applies to real life there's some people going to get pharmaceutical lingo and words instantly because it's things they do and it's things they understand and there's some people that don't so we have to make sure that what we're communicating is something digestible to everybody yeah like and we have a comment talking about and the first thing is the vaccine works like nobody is saying that the vaccine doesn't work what we are saying is works is defined differently to different people because of the messaging mm-hmm. what does works mean right when you say it works what i mean does it mean that it lessens the the, the the death rate does it mean that people can't get it no more does it mean that if everybody take it we don't have to wear masks like what does it mean right and so that is one of the issues but the, like i said the big yeah, issue the for, big but the, the, the issue for me like i said is just that we are creating these classes of people no we are literally is like you can't walk on the street i'll be missing you, you you're expected to know have proof of a certain status and walk around like this mm-hmm. feel very very like this feel very familiar you can't go certain places unless we check you and you got this status police could stop you on the street and ask you what your status is <laughs> like like this feels very very familiar like things that we thought would never be repeated in humankind like happening right and it's it's, it's unfortunate and my thing is i don't have a problem if private businesses and so have certain rules and all them kind of thing but when you start denying access to fundamental and essential services yeah. like based on yeah, yeah, yeah because you know to, this, this is casper's thing so that, you know to make it make some sense for some listeners it's requiring you to either show your proof of vaccination or to show that you have had a negative pcr test done within the last 14 days for lots of people that do businesses they don't have an they don't have a hundred us dollars lying around to get a pcr test done a pcr test is about 100 us Mm -hmm. so for somebody that does business frequently at the port and chose not to take the vaccine or has not taken the vaccine as yet that person now has to basically budget an additional 550 ec to do frequent business every month at the at the port that's a lot of money but if we have to be honest mm. so what are we being mandated to wear masks and all of these things for uh, qu- qu- when you go to scasper can you remove your mask if nope. you're vaccinated will you be able to remove your mask <laughs> I, am, I highly doubt it probably not i highly doubt it i highly doubt it would be a lot would be a lot would we would would social distancing be done away since everybody up there is now checked and has been vaccinated nope. i really doubt it and i just yeah, asking I the question you know, somebody need to tell me yeah, to to know, no but no what i'm saying is i just need to know is like let me ask it a different way is there a line is there a line at which we are we are not willing to encroach on people in this in this particular instance if the answer is no then yeah. okay it's no you know and then people will move accordingly but <laughs> i've been asking this question from the start like where are we going to draw the line i tell you don't be surprised if if some of the things happen and the thing is about it right if you are somebody who is pro vaccine and has taken the vaccine or whatever like yeah you're not you're, you're probably not worrying about the situation yeah because like, these things don't affect you right, you know you're right. done you're done in the you're done in the green zone but but like i saying when we get to a point where it starts affecting you even people who have who've taken the vaccine like it does it, still affect people who take the vaccine because they're trying vaccinated and they can't remove a mask and all these things so like what is the what what, what are you going to start asking like what are the benefits of doing this to then go to businesses and still have to still and still have to do the same non-pharmaceutical measures yeah like i don't know it just 
Yeah, like, and I'm, I'm, mm. I'm in support of the vaccine. Don't get me wrong. I, I am. Mean, I, I am mean, actually I mean, vaccinated. Yeah, I'm, so I'm in, but you see, even that, Jade, you're not fully vaccinated. So even you oh, would yeah, have I made can, the choice. So can I can this, go both? You would, I don't think you would be. I, I don't. don't th- no, um, I, that's the, and that is the problem. You see what I'm saying? We do, mm. so in other words, there's already separation based on if you take the vaccine and don't take the vaccine. There's separation. So there's now like a three tier system. But, but three, it might have more than three now. taken it. It might but, more than three, but generally, it's the completely vaccinated. There's the ones that have already taken. There's the ones that haven't. And but no, there's have, another there's one. There's another one. Between. There's another one based on the interval. So based people. So now, so so, so, so the, we, and my problem is that you can't just go and say, well, but no, they ain't gonna do that. I know they ain't gonna do that. I don't see that. There's no like we can't say that. But the problem is because nobody is ensuring or putting anything in place. Like, and there's a lot of things that need to be put in place as far as I'm concerned. Things need to be put in place to protect people who have to quarantine and can't go work. Mm-hmm. So that their, 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 their bosses don't penalize them for not coming in. That ain't nothing hard to do. We do it with jury duty. When you got, when you got to do your jury duty, your boss ain't going to decide, oh, you're going to do jury duty, so, well, no money for you. You understand? So we could legislate these things. So we need to get on the ball and start doing these things. You understand? So, because a lot of people going to work, even though somebody who they might have con- come in contact with was quarantining because they're just not sure what the situation going to be. But I need this money, I got to go into work. Mm-hmm. I'm putting other people at risk. Mm-hmm. Like, this is real situations that we're dealing with now. And if we feel that this one breach happened and ain't going to happen again, like, you are very wrong, like... Yeah, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen um, again. Like, you know, which is which is what which is what the the this the what the name, New York, New York, which is what the NEOC was telling us. You know, we are just delaying the somewhat inevitable, because um, you know, this we 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 can't stay in the bubble forever. You know, yes, 